Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR and my YouTube channel. I've got the Elecraft KX2 transceiver here, and I've been operating it with my HP laptop. It's a HP Stream with WSJTX and JTDX. It works really well, and I'm going to go through the settings of the KX2 to get the best out of it. So uh, right now I've got the uh, the power displayed and uh, the battery uh, is pretty weak. I'm going to hit the display again and that shows, I'm hitting the display button and that shows VFOB. So right now I'm in data A mode and to get to data A which is data audio, just tap that button data and if you need to change it, turn this knob, the OFS. That's PSK, FSK, AFSK, A, and Data A, Data Audio. And then I can tap it again. And you'll see that it's indicated right up here. Transmit Data um, on a VFOA, but it's in Data Mode, which is a USB. So when I'm transmitting, my transmit power is going to be adjusted with the mic gain and to adjust the mic gain I just turn this knob and I've got mine on 50 right now I would start out at about 10 and uh, then see what you need you can increase it we want ALC to be 4 bars so to get to the see the, the, the ALC I've got SWR and RF power displayed right now. To show the ALC, I just tap this button once. Now I'm showing compression and ALC. And of course, compression is turned off when I'm in data mode. So I'll tap this again. Back to SWR and RF. So I've got my VFOB and I've got the frequency for FT8 right there. And the best way to get to the frequency, you can save it in a memory in the radio, but the best way is just through the software, uh, WSJTX. I'll show, uh, show you how I have that set up a little bit later. I'll have uh, some screenshots on my website, www.k0pir.us. So we've got it set up for data right now. And the audio, you want to start out with the audio pretty low maybe about a five and I'll show you that USB sound card that I have it's a Sabrent sound card for my laptop it'll plug in right here to the phones and to the mic and one thing I don't want to forget is the mic bias is normally turned on because I was using the Elecraft microphone with it and I'm not sure if you need to turn it off or not but I thought I'd be be safer than sorry so to get to the mic bias, I'm going to hold down this display or this menu button. Hold that down and my backlight is on right now. I'm going to uh, go through it and find mic bias. And there it is. I've got it turned off. So you might want to just turn that off while you're using it in uh, data mode. Then another setting we're going to go back to is the AGC. I'll show you how I have it set up on mine, and these are just suggested. Uh, you don't need to have them this way, but uh, I've got the AFX turned off, and uh, my AF limiter turned to 20 because I have the AGC turned off, and I don't want anything blowing my little radio away. AGC is turned off and the AGC speed is slow that's when I got it turned on and I think that's about it so that takes care of the AGC now my filter I'm gonna hit this to get out of it now my filter I've got it set pretty wide the widest I'm gonna tap filter and then turn the the AF gain knob to the right and I have this set to 4 and that will give me a nice waterfall with WSJTX then the next knob here 
the uh, uh, mic knob. I'll turn it to the right or to the left, and I'm going to save it. I'm going to save the default there. It's got the little asterisk next to it. It's 1.5. That's been working good for me. So that's the filter, and of course we want the uh, the pre. I'm going to hit the display to get out of there. Of course we want the preamp off, and we want the noise blinker off, and we want the uh, notch off, and we want the noise reduction off. So I don't have anything on in there. Now that stuff is on, just like uh, the ICOM 7300, we got uh, all that stuff turned turned off. So this is the way I have it set up, and I set my power, pull that knob in, it's at 5 watts. I can turn it up to 7 watts, and it'll hold there, transmit safely. If I want to watch the temperature of the PA, I can hit this button, tap that again. That's showing my power and turn it and this is showing the temperature once this gets to 40 degrees Celsius or 45 degrees Celsius it'll fold back and reduce power to 5 watts but I've been able to transmit 7 or 8 watts uh, without a problem I've got a long wire hooked up a random wire hooked up with a 9 to 1 on them and it uh, tunes up really well so I haven't had a problem with it, but about 8 watts, 10 watts, it gets a little hot and it'll fold back to 5. So uh, that's the way I've been operating it. I'll have some more information on my website, www.k0pir.us. Well, let's try one a little further away. It's a 2, and that might be up there in New York. W-E-2-L-E-W. Okay, there you go. 5 watts, LCRAF KX2 and 80 foot wire. Hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Also, tell your friends. 73 and good DX.